click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friend and today we are going to study a new value theorem that is a final value theorem of Laplace transform. Now in previous studies and in previous video we have studied the initial value theorem or oh, in that initial value theorem you are going to calculate or you have calculated a value of any function when t is equals to 0 means just a twist is on or just twist is open at that instant which amount of or what amount of current is flowing through that circuit you can calculate it using initial value theorem now today we are going to study a final value theorem in this theorem what we can calculate we can calculate the function response at t is equals to infinity what will be the output of function at its output stage or at t is equals to infinity now this is what we are going to calculate it so let's study the final value theorem first the statement first of all now any continuous time function signal x of t is expressed in terms of x of s this is the definition of laplace transform but according to final value theorem what is said the x of infinity which is nothing but if i want to calculate function value at t equals to the infinity then of course we will apply limits so if we apply limits which depends on t and it's directly applied on x of t having value infinity so this x of t is now in represented by x of infinity and this whole thing can be transformed into laplace domain and the resultant is limits s tends to 0 s into x of s so the definition is the final value theorem states that the x of t and its derivative is completely transformable if and only if the x of infinity is equals to limits s tends to 0 s into x of s now this is we are going to prove so let's see now in initial value theorem and also in final value theorem we are going to use a time differentiation property of unilateral laplace transform and according to definition of time differentiation property what is it the laplace transform of differentiation of x of t is nothing but s into x of s minus initial value of x of t that is x equals to 0 now what i'm going to do i'm going to apply limits on both these sides and the value of limit is total depends on s and it is from 0 so limit s tends to 0 that i'm going to apply it on both these sides so this is the way to apply limits now in the next thing i'm going to apply limits inside this laplace transform where on the right hand side the limit is applied on only s into x of s because limits is always applied on the variable here the variable is s so on the right hand side we have s in this term only s into x of s so on this term only we will apply we can apply the limits where x of 0 will be remain as a constant so let's see the next proof now according to definition of laplace transform i'm going to open that uh, term limits of d by dt of x of t now by definition of laplace transform first of all we'll multiply the input function with e to the power minus st and this whole product is going to be integrated with respect to t over the range of minus infinity to infinity now here the input is d by dt x of t so look at here the limit s tends to 0 which is applied on both the sides where the definition of laplace transform is d by dt x of t e to the power minus s dt and as i told you earlier the x of 0 is a constant whereas s into x of will be over there on that only limits will be applied now i'll take these limits inside this integration only one thing is going to be solved using limits which is e to the power minus st because the whole remaining things becomes constant so only e to the power minus st will be solved using limits applying limits only on this part what you will get this s is replaced by zero so this s look at here this s is replaced by zero if it is replaced by zero then whole power of e will be zero and the e to the power zero which will gives us one so what will what else remaining on the left hand side is d by dt of x of t dt now we know that the integration of differentiation is nothing but the only function means what else is remaining x of t and their limits and the limit is from 0 to infinity now in the next part we'll apply limits on the x of t 
if we apply limits on x of t then what will happen we'll substitute the limits first of all we know that upper limit will be substituted first and minus lower limit will come so let's see how we are going to solve the next part as i told you the upper limit will be substituted first and then lower limit so x of infinity will comes first minus the lower limit and on the right hand side we have limit s tends to 0 s into x of s minus the constant x of 0 now look at here on both the sides we have x of 0 and x of 0 so i can say that both this x of 0 will get cancelled only one thing will be remaining on the left hand side is x of infinity and on the right hand side this limit part so what else x of infinity is equal to limit s tends to 0 s into x of s is our result and this is the proof of final value theorem now x of infinity can be treated as limit t tends to infinity x of t so we can replace this x of infinity by limit t tends to infinity x of t and the result is limit s tends to 0 s into x of s this is the way to prove the final value theorem so thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe Ikeda. Thank you so much.